For those of you that enjoy arguing as much as I do, and I mean this in a fun debate type sense, here's an important thing. We can't start many steps down the line until we agree on the main thing. So before we can argue, we need to agree on the foundational steps. And whether you want to say it's the top down or bottom up, whatever, but I'll use foundation. Until we agree on the foundation, we can't argue the next step. So let's say that you come to me and your argument is uh, the old rule of thumb, that when a man beats his wife, uh, he should use a stick that is no bigger than his thumb, no bigger around. That's how the rule of thumb came about. And your argument is that that is a correct rule and it should be instituted as the our agreed upon rule for how you and I will live our lives. Well, we can't have that argument because we haven't agreed upon the bottom thing. And the bottom thing would be, for me, the foundation would be, is it okay for a man to beat his wife at all, with bare hands or with a stick or at all? And I don't think you can. I mean, I don't think it's a good thing to do. You might physically be able to, but I don't think it's a moral thing to do. And I think it's not good for a relationship either, probably. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's probably not good. So since I haven't agreed on this foundational principle with you that it is okay to beat, how can we then have a conversation about whether we should use one that's as big around as our thumb, our pinky, our wrist, or if we should just, you know, be really good about it and only use our, our hand and slap? Well, we can't have that conversation because we haven't agreed upon this one. And this is just an analogy. And I get into many debates that we skip way ahead and we're talking about something that, uh, I, no, I can't argue that because I don't agree upon the things below it. So please make sure that when you're arguing with someone, you insist that they don't try to lure you into saying, do you agree, agree with the rule of thumb? And then when you say, well, we need, no, 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 you can't argue about, the, you, you know, you lose because you didn't give me a good argument. No. We didn't agree upon the foundation. So make sure you don't let people lure you into uh, arguing with them on this level about, well, okay, let's just say it was okay to, no, I'm not going to say it's okay to beat with a stick. Don't let them get you to do that. Make sure that you set the rules when you argue with somebody that they have to be relatively smart. They have to use reason. They can't use feels for stuff. They have to use reason and logic and such. And they have to have an open mind and be willing to change. If they already absolutely know the truth and they say, you're never going to change my mind on blah, 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 well, don't try to change their mind. They've already told you they're not going to change it. If they say, you know, I've thought about this a lot and I've come up with this conclusion that I'm pretty certain is the truth, but if you can provide evidence otherwise, I'll obviously change my mind. That's the kind of person that's worth arguing with. Then that person is the kind of person that you can say, okay, let's get this foundation set before we move on to the next steps. I hope this helps in your arguments. Uh, I hope it helps when you argue with me because I do require that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. What are some other tips that are good for arguing? Let me know. And please do subscribe.